All right, we have this question which says a small hard ball of mass 0.1 kg is thrown vertically upwards and reaches a height of 20, 12 meters um, above the point from which it was thrown. So let's just get into it. So they are saying um, this a ball is thrown vertically upwards and reaches a highest point so this ball is thrown up to the, the somewhere there. that's a height that's the highest point uh <clears throat> upward and reaches a height of 12 meters above this above from the point where it was thrown at so, there, so this is a point now from there to there they are saying 12 meters okay 12 meters, then they are saying this ball has got a mass of this. Okay. Now they are saying calculate the work done in lifting the stone to the height it attains. We know that work is equal to force than distance moved. Right? Now, here, the, remember, force is mass times gravity. Then we have distance there. So our our mass here it's 0 0.14 kg times the gravity on earth is 10 newton per kg times the distance moved is 12 meters. So we can now proceed to multiply it. So 0 0.14 times 10 times 12. So we are getting work done as 16.8 joules. <clears throat> so this is the work done. Then 2 says, uh, what is the velocity of the ball at the maximum height? Now, how do we find the velocity of the ball at the maximum height? Here are the two ways you can find the velocity. <clears throat> velocity equal to square root of 2gh. This will be a square root of 2 times left is 10 times height is 12. V equal to so we have 2 times 10 times 12 as 240. Then we need to find the, the square root of 240. We need to find the square root of 240. Mm. So square root of 240 that's giving us velocity to be 15.5 meters per second so that's our velocity okay then another question says on a windy day the same stone is thrown upward with the same energy, but fails to reach the highest reached area. Why does it happen like this? So another day, and that day is windy. They try to throw the same stone. They discover that it's not reaching 12 meters. Why is it that? The thing is simple. Uh, wind, in this case, is acting as a resistance. Okay. So we can say uh, wind is acting as what air resistance which causes reduction in motion cause a reduction in motion of the water of the stone so the stone won't move the same distance why because there's air resistance acting what acting against it so it will eventually what not move the same distance 